Here's the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. How do you lock memories? The implant is encoding all the mnemonic activity in the hippocampus. Think of it like computer encryption. And we don't have the password. Let's see. A single mind wouldn't be able to crack it. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Any idea what I'm gonna see in there? I have no clue. But considering we only have a single piece of the medial temporal lobe and not the whole brain, I doubt it'll be cohesive. All right, let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first, 